<clears throat> Hello, everyone. My name is Agaba, and welcome to What the Fox. Uh, Sean, do you want to introduce yourself? Um, hi, I'm Sean Br. I, um, I'm Scottish. I don't. <laughs> I, I don't really need, usually need to introduce myself. Um, is, um, you're good. <laughs> It happens. It's just I would start off with that so we can get that out of the way. Cause ah, I, okay. Yeah. So, like, what do you like to do, though, uh, Sean? Like, what kind of content do you like to make? Oh. What type of content do I like to make? Um, vlogging. Vlogging. I I think that's I think that's what I do. I think I I do vlogging content. Yeah. For VR chat. I don't know, that's understandable. Like, a lot of people do that, where they just grab the camera and move it around. Because I think I've, like, seen, like, a few, like, of your videos where you're just, like, grabbing the camera and just kind of, like, swinging around. And I think you have, like, one... Yeah, I was, like... Oh. Yeah, I was, like, one of the first people to do it. It was, like, Ladle, and then, like, I used to be on her stream all the time, and then I started doing it. Yeah. Because I think one of your Twitch follows, or whatever it is, or a sub one... It's just like moving around and it's just like very funny when someone like sub bombs you and you just see that pop up on your screen. Which is like oh. always funny. But anyway, so let's get to the first question. When did you first get into VR chat? Like when you first joined? Um, I started VR chat in twenty nineteen. Um I that was literally just to come on here and troll people. As I because I watched Uganda knuckle videos and I was like, yo, that looks like fun. <laughs> and then I just was like, oh, I'll just hang out here now because it's actually there's lots of nice people to talk to. So. Yeah, that's understandable. There's like a lot of people that joined because the knuckles or what other stuff. So that's understandable if you join a uh, VR chat for that and just to troll and have a good time. Okay, let's get to the second one. Oh, well, I do not know if I spelled this correctly. Uh, I'm just going to say it like this. What kind of VR chat do you... Here, I'm going to read it like this. What kind of content you make on VR chat and off of VR chat? Like, do you do variety content off of VR chat and et cetera? That's what um, I think I was trying to title on that question. Yeah, I mean, like, mostly on VR chat, I just jump on, rant at the camera for, like, six hours and then hang out with my community and we just kind of, like, go map hopping and mostly me scream at them for being stupid um and like i don't i don't really do much variety streaming like i do a little bit sometimes in the morning if i'm feeling tired i need time to wake up um i don't maybe to play like hell divers these days for like an hour hell divers um, is fun yeah it's a really good game um but like off of twitch i don't really do much content off of Twitch anymore. I I have like a guy that does like he edits my videos and puts them on YouTube for me now because uh, I don't really have time to do that anymore. Um, and I used I used to do TikTok videos and stuff, but it's just it's so much work. I would rather just focus on Twitch, you know, in my community and stuff, because like it just uh, the more the more st things you have to do outside of Twitch, the less time you have for people. So. No, that's understandable. Like, uh, when people, like, get up there with the whole, like, Twitch stuff, and when they barely have any time for anyone or anyone else, it kind of gets, like, really hard. That's how I would say in my in my own words. So it's kind of understandable. Because, like, there's that, and then you gotta deal with real-life stuff, and just try to be happy. <laughs> that's another way of seeing it. Oh, yeah, real life's a thing, too. Yeah, that takes up time. That's yeah oh man that that question actually kind of hit home for me for some reason uh <laughs> sorry so number three why do you stream is it friend for you like why do you stream that's like the third question sorry Wh why do i stream yeah that that was like the third question after two um I mean, originally, why I started streaming? Yes, that's what I was... Um, I started streaming because 
um, I work really antisocial hours compared to all my friends. So like for years, I was just playing games by myself, and I didn't really have anyone to talk to. So when I got a VR headset, I was like, oh, there's tons of people to talk to in here. I should maybe just try and stream it because it'll be funny. And um, I had absolutely no idea what I was doing. I'd never watched a Twitch stream before. And I just looked up how to like hit play and go and just just to see if people would come and talk to me like while I was streaming. Hmm. Ah, fair enough. I could make friends and stuff. Um, also, that's a, honestly a good way of how to explain it because everyone has their original like origins when they started streaming. Because I only started streaming when I felt like to staff on an F round and make friends. And uh, best way to explain how that has went for me and probably for you, like where we're all at right now in our lives. Because there's been like a lot of stuff yeah. on this game going on. Even like, um, well, what was that one con call in VR chat? I forget. Oh, VRCon. You remember oh, like VRCon? You remember VRCon? I think I have went to a couple of their maps. I Yeah. I think that was, like, the only, like, few things in this game that, like, sorry that was random to say, but, like, it's one of the few things in this game that were kind of, like, fun to go to and hang out with people and make new friends and meet, like, uh... Um, honestly, I never went to any of those types of things to make friends. I usually would just go there to, like, have a look at the map in private and then... Mm -hmm. Uh, cause like I I like ninety nine percent of the time just hang out with my community, so like I don't I don't really like I'll go public coughing and stuff. Um, but like I don't know I just I just usually just play games with them or like meet up with them in game. So I I don't really like I don't really go to like any VR chat events. There's like one I sometimes go to on the weekends. Uh, but other than that, I just I just do stuff with my my guys. Yeah, which is understandable with that one. Because there's, like, stuff you want to do with friends and you just want to look by yourself, so it's understandable. Because, like, I was saying... Um, oh, go ahead. Well, yeah, and... I don't know, just sometimes no one's online, and if I'm just going to be, like, endlessly map hopping, like, there's no point people joining, because they just get... Because uh, they might want to stay and look at the map, and then I'm, like, jumping worlds, so... Yeah. Which is true. Okay, let's move on to the next question. Is there old games that you loved playing when you were growing up? When well, I still play, or like, well, like games that like I just enjoyed playing when I was younger. When you were younger, or you still play to this day? That's pretty much what I was asking. Uh, that's a hard question because I've been playing games like my whole life, and I'm really old, so. Um... <laughs> If you remember a specific uh, one, that's fine. I really liked Tailspin on the Sega Genesis. I that was a really good game. Oh, Tail! Interesting. I never actually heard of that one before. Huh? Kind of. He plays Baloo the Bear, and you run around and fight Sky Pirates. Oh, and actually now I remember. <laughs> I need to actually play that when I can, because I think that was, like, one of the games I wanted to play when I was growing up, but done it because I only had a PlayStation 2 and um, Super Nintendo or whatever else in my uh, hands to mess around with. But honestly, that sounds fun, because I never had a Dreamcast or whatever game console, game console you said it was on. really wish I had one of those consoles, because they sounded like people had a lot of fun on them. And I wouldn't actually mind trying them out because it would kind of be fun to try something new instead of just playing on PC and console a lot. Well, certain like consoles. Well, you could probably emulate them, right? You could probably. Yeah, I probably could, but that's one way to, well, play them, I guess. Uh, I don't know what else to ask on that question for four. Uh, okay, number five. What kind of events do you do with your community? This one might be a little fun to answer. Um, yes. Uh, honestly, stuff I do with my community, I don't know, we usually, like, we 
could just play like VR chat games. Or, mostly. Yeah. Like, prison escape and stuff. And then like on Tuesdays we do like Team Fortress Two. Oh yeah, that that shit's and... fun. Because I because I was yeah, playing with. It... Sorry, go ahead. No, 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 it's fine. Yeah, I didn't mean to cut you off, but what I was gonna say is when I joined you on one of those uh, days when you guys were playing. You were fucking killing me too many times, I swear to god. That was getting out of my nerves. I was like, you saw a bitch, come here. You oh shit, I hit my headset. <laughs> but like I had so much fun like playing with you on that. It was just like, come here, you little shit, and then I got you like a few times. Cool. So it was fun. But go ahead while you were about to say though. Didn't mean to cut you off, bud. Um I don't I know we play like we play Starship Troopers and stuff, and we have like some more organized event days, but um, it's mostly just friends vibing like um together. Yeah, like, my community. I I don't really like. I don't even organize a lot of the events. A lot of the events are organized by uh, community members. Yeah, which is understandable if it's organized by community members, and which they do an awesome job on. Uh, setting that stuff up and making where everyone has a good time. Because I might also get on one of these nights when I'm not busy. I might try to join you on Starship Troopers when I'm not busy. So I can kill some bugs instead of... Well, we, we, uh, we play on Fridays, so... Fridays? Troopers. Probably after my thing tomorrow, before 30p, I can try to join you on Friday. So, we'll be down for that. Uh, don't know if there's anything for five to answer, so let's go to six. Is there good memories you have with people in VR, see in the outside of VR chat? Um, good memories in VR chat, Re like recently or just like in general, like, like, like a weird event that happened or like a just a uh, basically the say in my own words to simplify it, like throughout your whole life in VR chat. Oh, Jesus, I've done like so much stuff, man. Uh, uh, I don't know. Like every day is like a wild ride in VR chat. I don't. Um, what have I done? I don't know why my brain shot down. Like the uh. I like it when we do like RP events and that's fun and like sometimes we'll pretend to be maids for a day or something or we'll run like a school and then it'll turn into like a private military like adventure and it turns out like all the school girls are all like soldiers and then we have like a big gunfight and do weird stuff like I um but like I don't know every, every day in VR chat is fun it's hard to really like pin down something that like that was like better than the other ones. Um, no, that's understandable. Like you were able to list off a few good ones off your head, even though you you froze for a moment. So it's okay. But um, yeah. It does. To be honest, I think the one you just mentioned with the the school one with the military one that that one kind of sounded interesting because. When I heard you just say that, I'm like, why am I getting any flashbacks to one of your TikToks I watched recently where you're just on a dude's, like, on something and you're just, like, firing your fucking gun? I'm oh, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was, it was like, similar models. Like, because some Saturdays <laughs> we were doing, like, RP streams and, um, like, we would theme it around something and some, like, I just let the guys do whatever and then I just interact with it. Yeah. It was, it was just when I, when you mentioned that, I just remembered. I'm like, oh my gosh, why is that giving me a giggle while well, I'm not trying to laugh right now? <laughs> like, it's a good memory for me. Well, something I would think, but like, that's understandable. Uh, I can tell I'm being a little antisocial. <laughs> oh well. Are you? Oh. Are you sure? Oh, uh, wait, why would you say that, Sean? Why would you say that? Uh, I don't know, it's just, I feel like sometimes when I put on a face when I, you know, I'm streaming right now, I feel like I hide, like, my antisocial face sometimes, because I get shy. It's like, okay. Oh. It's hard to explain it, but I try to be out more out and open 
Uh, it's something I don't talk about much even with interviews like this, but it's only time it will get mentioned. But it's something just to say right there. You know, you know what fixes huh? that? More socializing. Fair enough. You're not wrong. Uh, number seven. Is there any old uh, arcade games you like playing in the past? This kind of correlates to one of the arcade games. Yeah, old arcade. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. The arcade game. Oh, that's how... you got <laughs> you got here over there to fucking get happy when you said that. <laughs> it was it was one of the best ones because it was four player and it was all colorful and the cabinet was awesome. Wait, and they even did like a Simpsons remake of it. Dude, if I ever get enough money to go to well where you live, Sean, we're gonna play some arcade games and see if we can find the Teenage Mutant we Ninja don't have Turtles. Arcades here anymore, dude. Damn, no one's too poor for arcades. We haven't had arcades since like the nineties. Damn, dude, that would've been fun. Well, unless someone made the same thing, but you can emulate it. Hmm. I mean, probably. I just thought about it. I'm like... It's, it's, pro it's probably out there. Yeah. Or unless there's, like, a Steam version and you can get it from Amazon. I'm giving here that look for a good reason. <laughs> Anyways, um... I don't know what else to ask on that one, because when mentioning old arcade games, the only ones I would remember would uh, be Mortal Kombat, like the old, like, kind of styled one, where it's, like, using... I don't, think I, I don't ever think I've seen that in the arcade. I, like, I, I remember Street Fighter cabinets, though. Like, uh -huh. everywhere. Yeah, Street Fighter was fun. Like, I never played, like, the old ones or, like, the current ones. The only one I've played is 6, sadly. <laughs> Which is... Oh. Uh, which is whatever. Still have fun with six, even though I was almost making my character look like a character from Ed, Ed and Eddie. <laughs> to make it look cool. dumb. <sighs> Were you plank? Almost, almost plank. I just made my woman character just look like a jock. Like, what's up, bunny? Anyway. <laughs> no, you're okay. Uh, oh, number eight. Do you like any Nintendo game? You love playing that gave you good memories. Like if you if you played any Nintendo games, yeah. Uh, Super Mario and Pokemon. Yeah, that's fair enough. That, those are good. Like start I, I don't really games. like. I don't really. I don't really have Nintendo stuff. I had a Game Boy for a while. Um, I have a Switch, but I've never used it. My wife convinced me to buy it, and then I never. Never did anything with it. It's just sitting there. Hmm. I'll say right now, like, probably an idea for you while on stream. Probably with your Switch. Probably, uh, do, like, a Mario Party kind of game nights with your, uh, community. Like, who knows? They might like it. Um, I don't, to be honest, my, my community is mostly, like, PC game orientated. Apart from, like, one of my, my guys really likes his Xbox, but, like, everyone else just is on PC. Yeah. So, like, it, I don't know. Well, there is Pummel Party. It's almost like Mario Party, but it's kind of more fun in a way. So you could try Pummel Party out if you want to for your community. I could have a look at that, yeah. Yeah, it's on Steam. I think it's like $20 or something. It's not too bad. Whoa. So it's worth it. And I was planning on getting it after uh, tonight. Well, today. But you probably can't wait until my birthday. <laughs> but, uh... I don't know what. Oh, when's your birthday? May 27th. Wow, that's crazy. Yeah. Hero over there knows how old I'm turning. A thousand. There you go. You're getting. No. That number. Getting close? Yeah. 700. 21. 21. Yeah. Wow, that's crazy. <laughs> yeah, it's. Uh... I don't want to mention it too much, but I'm old and young. <laughs> I'm sorry. I said the old part just to tease him or like troll him. Um, By what age is Hero? He's almost. He's in his thirties. He's getting close to being forty. Yo, he's a boomer. <laughs> Anyways, um. 
Okay, number nine. Here we go. Have you played any uh, PlayStation 2 games like Sly Cooper or Jack and Daxter? PlayStation 2 games? Yeah. Um, wait, what was the first one you said? Uh, Sly Cooper. Sly Cooper is like a, you're like a raccoon. Oh, the raccoon guy, right? Yeah, yeah, the raccoon no, guy. I never played none of those. Uh, Jack and... Um, I mostly played like Metal Gear Solid and uh, Final Fantasy games and stuff on my PlayStation. Yeah, fair enough. Those are like the uh, good, good ones. I mel- wait, hold on. Metal Gear. Oh yeah, Metal that one. I was trying to remember which Metal Gear you were. Sons of Liberty. Hell yeah. Wait, isn't that the one where like uh? Why am I getting confused with the one with the sword and the the the, the other one? I'm just getting confused with. Three Fox was in the first one, and Raiden was in the second one, and then. Okay. There's also Snake Eater. I was trying to remember because like that one and that one, but I think those games were not bad in their prime when they came out. They were probably really fun for people, and they were just got. They're still good. Yeah, I really wanted to play the. One game where you're just punching the senator so much, and then you just start hearing that song like "Standing Here." I realize, and whatever else it says in that song, I just forget how it goes when playing that game. But it's like very fun. Cause actually, oh. don't call me biased, but like I think one of the other games I would mention that I like would be a uh, Ninja Ninja Gaiden Three and Gears Gears of War. Those would be like my top favorite. Is it War on the PlayStation? Um, I think I don't know because that one is like an Xbox exclusive unless they made five onto the PlayStation. Oh. You never know because how things been going lately for PlayStation and the Xbox. I think they may have done something. I don't know. It's a fifty-fifty. Anyways, let's get on to the next question. Uh, have you played? Oh no, that's nine. Is there any movies you like watching in your childhood that you still watch now to this day? From like when you were growing up and you were watching movies, like which one was your favorite? Uh, Aladdin. Aladdin. Oh, that's a Disney one. That's actually a really good one to pick. Holy crap. What's well, it? That came out when I was in school, so... <laughs> <laughs> That's the only one I remember, but I would watch it again. Yeah. Well, to be honest, it's a good one, and I... I remember... Cause if you're mentioning, like, the original one, but the one... The original one, besides the... Um, live-action one. Well, the live-action one's good. To a good point, since it has Will Smith in it. Um, yeah, I can't remember much after that, but I lied inside a good... Oh, I thought that was Michael Jackson that was in it. Uh-oh, well, yeah. But Aladdin's a good one, because, like, the singing and the story behind the movie's not bad. Really good storytelling for a movie like that. I really want to, like, see other, like, Disney movies be live-action, but some don't deserve to be live-action, like the Lion King one. Ooh. That one was... There was a Lion King live action? Yeah, there is. It It's 50-50. Because you still get to see the original... Oh, the lines to do that? CGI. Probably mostly CG. What? Yeah. Like, it looks like real lions, but no CGI. Because, like, um... You know those talking uh, animal movies where you see the dogs or cats fighting or talking sometimes? It's almost like that CGI, but a little bit more. It's realistic, like you're looking at a video game, but it's not a video game. That's how I would interpret it. Oh. That's not bad. It's 50-50. I give it like a 9 out of 10. Okay. Uh, question 11. Do you think using Patreon is good for content creators? Uh, only if you have an established audience already. Good point. <laughs> you can't make... If, if you don't have an established audience, there's no point in having a Patreon or whatever, because no one cares. 
enough to like like donate usually. So you may as well just have a PayPal link somewhere. Yeah. Or a Ko-Fi or something. Ko-Fi is a better way to go, to be honest, because PayPal can be sometimes a bitch. <laughs> For a few good reasons. But, um, when you mention that, is because probably with your content and stuff, you're, like, more out there and you have a, a decent established audience to keep going. Because probably when thinking about it, like, pe people that have certain tiers on their uh, Patreon, like $5, $3, or $20 or higher, I just feel like because that's from the creator's perspective on how much they want the people to, you know, donate or pay them, right? And actually, I, I uh, haven't looked at yours in a while since I do follow your Patreon page. I just haven't looked really, at it. Like, we don't really use our Patreon anymore apart from model commissions. Uh, um, so like it, it's there and people do use it but like it's not like um like it, it's not like something that's necessary for us to get money it was like a side thing hmm yeah that's a fair point if that's what it's been used for so that's understandable yeah we mostly just use fansly now so it's not really you're good sorry it's just when someone says that out of nowhere, I just giggle. Because <laughs> I'm out of people that I use. Serious business. <laughs> yeah, serious business. Serious business. <laughs> yeah, we're going to call that site Serious Business. That's all we're going to say. <laughs> um, I don't know what else to say on that question I just asked. So, number 12. What Monster Hunter games do you like to play? Oh, you good? Um, yeah, I've, I've, my stomach's just... Okay. Like, that's what I was saying earlier in DMs. Yeah. Um, Monster Hunter World, but that's... Apart from, like, I tried Monster Hunter Ultimate, like, once. I think I got carried through it, and I don't know what I was doing. But I've been playing Monster Hunter World quite a bit recently so i really like that one yeah oh wait have you not tried rice yet then because i don't have world yet oh. um right oh hold on sorry my phone went off uh i don't know what else to say on that but like you should try monster hunter rice when you can it's not too bad um, I, I, if I get time to, I'm a really, I don't have a lot of time to play games, so, like, yeah, I, I just try and, like, stick to a few games. Yeah, uh, probably after May's over, probably around in June when the summer sale hits, uh, you probably can, uh, grab, grab the game like that, because it goes from, like, whatever, $40, $50 to $20, so I would say probably. It's on sale there. Like... Oh, it was? Yeah, it was, like, um. Like twelve dollars or something. There we go. Sorry, I was muting my phone audio, so nothing comes through again. But uh, yeah, it's just probably grab it when you can, like that, because that you will have like a lot of fun. Just uh, since how Monster I Hunter. Know, I heard Monster Hunter Rise isn't as good as Monster Hunter World. So. Yeah, it's just one way to play with friends because you can get funny, stupid. Items like a weird wiggler or head or whatever it's called. It's just oh, really funny. <laughs> but uh, besides that, that's twelve answer to question thirteen. What are your thoughts on Hell Divers Two? Hell Divers Two. Yep. You mean Democracy Simulator? Yeah, de <laughs> Democracy Simulator. Yes. Is the best game this year. I'll give it game of the year for my like every day. <laughs> Honestly, it's a it's not a bad game. I would recommend people playing it. Just don't play on level nine difficulty because you will be torturing yourself like I have been. <laughs> nah, that sounds like a skill issue. And not, well, actually, you have a fair point. It's just it takes a lot of time to not die from you bucks or automatons. 
Nightmare. To die for freedom. Yeah. Uh, there's been like a funny moment. Where... Otherwise, how can the seeds of liberty be planted? Yeah. And actually, besides with Helldivers, I feel like the bugs or glitches in the game are funny. But I think one of the enemy characters on the bot sites I hate are the factory striders. Like the big Star Wars ATATs, oh. I like to call them. Because those things are scary. <laughs> but like, yeah, they're hard. Yeah, they're very hard. <laughs> Why did I take that all context when I said it? <laughs> I don't know. I guess my humor is broken. What context did you take in? Lewd. When I said, ah, when I said hard, you're attracted to robots. That's crazy. God damn it! <laughs> Is that why he's here? I don't know. He's just vibing. No, he's just vibing. Okay. Yeah. Um. But like, best way to end that off because we're about to be on the last question. Um. Probably. I wouldn't mind playing Helldivers 2 with you when I'm not even busy as well, when you're not busy. Well, just be in the Discord, like, it's just, if there's space, just join, that's what everyone else does. Yeah. Yeah, if I see you in there, I'm gonna be like, that dude just skating on ice and just going to the basketball hoop and going, Hobie, I'm in. Whoa. If you know what meme that is. <laughs> I don't even know what a Kobe is. Is that a fish? <laughs> um, no, it's a basketball, a basketball player. Okay, I swear, I just had a speech impediment moment. It's a basketball player that was very famous in the U.S. before he oh. died from a uh, helicopter crash. That's all I can see on stream. You can oh, look it up. Oh, I didn't know he died. That's, yeah. That's not good. Yeah. It it's something. It was very sad when it happened. I forget what year it was, but it actually hold on. No, it was twenty twenty two when it happened. Oh shit! So it was that long ago. American celebrities mostly, unless they're in like movies or something. Yeah. Well, I think he was in um Space Jam or something. I can't remember, unless I might be wrong. I don't know. But anyways, probably to get to the last question so you can go lay down because I know your stomach is hurting like hell probably. Mm -hmm. So probably to end this one off um, because this one's a little tricky. Last question. If someone plays VR chat, what would you tell them with your experience in VR chat? Like your hope? Uh, if someone was going to start VR chat? Well, like if they join, yes. If it's their first time playing the game, yes. Do you want an honest answer or do you want a funny answer? Honest answer. I actually want to hear an honest answer before the I funny. I tell them to uninstall the game unless they want to, like, have a totally warped sense of self within the space of six months. Fair enough. What was the funny answer going to be? The funny answer is, do they know that if they're gay or not yet? Because they will find out soon. Fair enough. <laughs> Well, um, I don't know anything else asked besides from the last question, but, um, uh, thank you, uh, Sean, for coming out tonight, and thank you for sharing your time. Uh, cool. Riley, you should get some well, summon up for you. your bo body. Oh, go ahead. I was just gonna say thank you for having me. I'm sorry I wasn't at full energy for this, because my belly's sore. It was just bad timing. Um, and yeah, I hope, I hope you have a good rest of your stream. Um. If you're going to do anything else today. Uh, probably going to get off and then probably stream in a moment again. And probably upload this stream to, well, to the YouTube channel and then edit other stuff. Because I have, like, pre-recorded stuff I need to get done editing. And then ah. my stuff. But anyways, this. You guys take care. And hold on, let me move this. You guys take care. Thanks for coming to the stream. See you in the next episode of What the Fox. And by the way, 